For the last few weeks, I've been testing out this projector. This is the Valerian Vision Master. Now, one thing that makes this projector unique than some of the ones on the market is that they have one mission in hand, and that's to bring Hollywood standards to your home. Now, what does that mean? Well, on a daily basis, we watch a lot of content on TV shows, movies, and things like that. And most of the time, we're using a format called Rec. 709, which is a color space. But did you know that there's a more advanced color space called Rec 2020? And with 4K content, there's some volume and colors that we're missing, and this projector can produce it. But who is Valerion? Well, Valerion is a sister company of AWOL Vision, who are known to make high-performance, ultra-short throw projectors, and some of their team elites helped design this particular product. Now, when it comes to the Vision Master, it will be available in four different variants. Today we'll be taking a look at the Plus 2 version, but the Max version is for people who really want to get the best experience overall, which will include features like vertical, lens shifting, dynamic iris, and it also has a ultra high view contrast. And this features enhanced black level technology, which profoundly enhances the depth and richness of the black tones, and this makes the brightest bright and the darkest dark more vivid. And this full line of projectors are powered by the MediaTek MT9618 processors that provides plenty of memory, smooth gaming, and Apple AirPlay 2, just to name a few. Before we get started, I want to let you know that this video is sponsored by Valerian. They sent me over this projector free of charge, and everything you hear on this video is my own personal opinion. With that being said, let's take a closer look. I'm going to be using a 100-inch screen, but this projector can produce up to a 300-inch image if you have a screen that's large enough, and that's going to give you that full movie experience. It's powered by Google TV has RGB, triple lasers, 4K capabilities, Dolby Vision, IMAX, HDR. It pretty much has everything you're looking for, plus it's ISF certified. Now, since I only saw this on videos, I'm very excited to be out of the box so I can take a closer look and do some demos so we can see how good this projector really is. Wow, it looks like they took a lot of love and care building this box out. So this projector gets shipped very well. And like I said, this is like a Pelican case. And I feel like I'm looking at something that's top secret. Look at that. I really like this case. It just screams that they know what they're doing. So you get this little box right here. Let's go ahead and slide this open, see what's inside. So here's the power brick that comes with it. It's got that nice little feel to it. So here's the remote control. Wow, look at that. Really premium. I just like to feel of this and uh, home button, Google. All that good stuff built right in. Looks like some hotkeys for YouTube, Netflix, Prime, Disney. And it comes with a cleaning cloth. It also has this nice setup manual. Pretty premium. And here's the projector. And I will tell you that this thing is heavy. It's not like one of these light, cheap uh, plastic ones. Uh, it looks like this thing may be made out of metal. So let's go ahead and get it out of the box here. Wow. I really likes the looks of this. Looks on the bottom here, we got the rubber feet. Has this little screw hole so you can mount it to your different brackets. And just look at the design here. It's got these nice metal chrome looking fins right here. On its top, it has like this checkerboard design. On the back of it, you have this door that is magnetic and you basically only leave this open most of the time. But behind here, we have your input for the power supply, fiber optic output, two USBs, and this one is USB 3.0 three HDMI's and one of them is eARC. And keep in mind that all of these are HDMI 2.1. We have a headphone jack input, ethernet connection, and this is where you turn it off and on. And on the front of it, looks like some sensors, the lighting system, it's got that nice white look to it. In order to get the best performance out of any projector, you wanna use a ambient light rejection screens. So I'm gonna show you two on this video. One is a motorized one, which is really made for the dark time and cinema. And you'll see that on some of the shots I'm about to show you. And this one is a 120 inch daylight ambient light rejection screen. Since this screen is not motorized, there is some assembly that you need to do. I basically laid all the pieces down on the floor and then I screwed the frame together. The last few steps is I rolled out the screen and then I mounted it to the frame with some screws that are provided in the box. And then I had my assistant, Justin, to help me lift it on the wall. And after making a couple tweaks and adjustment, this is what it looks like. And as you can see, it is a beautiful picture, even with the lights on in this room. With that being said, 
let's get into some demos so we can see how well this Valerian actually performs. The first thing we want to check is upscaling. And as you can see, 480p content looks really good on this projector, but as we scale up to 720p, it looks a little bit better. If we go to 1080p, it's gonna be a lot more sharper, but 4K is definitely the native signal, and that's gonna give you the best results on any new product that supports this type of resolution. Watching a video like this kind of gives you an idea of how something performs, but in my opinion, when I was watching the Valerian Plus 2 in an all dark room, I was blown away. Not only did it have inky black levels, but this picture was stunning. Now what you're seeing right now is the projector in Rec 2020 mode, and as you can see, it's very colorful, it's vivid, it's bright, and I think you're gonna be very satisfied with a projector like this in your home, mainly because it is very impressive to see how well it performs, even compared to a TV in most cases. We will get to the movie parts, but you're probably wondering about how good is the motion on this projector. So I pulled up YouTube TV just to play some sporting events and this Vision Master Plus 2 was amazing. If you take a look at the content here, the colors pop and I was looking for flaws to see if it had motion problems or anything like that. And it handled the signal very well off the YouTube streaming app that's built into the Google operating system on this projector. Watching movies on this projector is very impressive and I can see where they made that statement of bringing Hollywood standards to your home. Even though I'm only using a 100 inch screen, I really felt like I was at a movie theater, but I can only imagine using this projector in a full movie room. It's gonna be very impressive and your family is gonna really enjoy watching any type of content with the built-in Google applications. And check out how good the contrast is on an older black and white movie. With the projector in SDR mode, here's some of the picture profiles. So we have Vivid, Standard, Sports. And then the theater mode looks more like a calibrated setting and then we have filmmakers mode. So ideal a theater is gonna be what you wanna watch movies on, so it's gonna have that nice flat look to it. But if we switch over to filmmakers mode, you can see it just has just a little bit darker image and a little bit flatter tone to it. And I'm really liking the image on this projector. When it's switching over to HDR, the picture does get a little bit softer, but you have all these different picture profiles so you can adjust it the way you like. And the great thing is that with all these different picture profiles, you have plenty of options and it adds features like filmmakers mode as well as IMAX so you can get even a better picture but it depends on the content that you're playing through it. I want to show you some skin tones on this Valerian projector and I want to switch through the different picture profiles so you can see the color volume differences when we switch from Rec 709, P3 and then over to Rec 2020. As you can see that the Rec 2020 definitely introduced more color volume and this is where the projector shines to give you that more contrasting look and that more realistic feel whenever you're watching content. And by the way, when it comes to viewing angles on projectors, there's nothing to worry about because since it is going directly to the screen, I'm going to say that the viewing angles are going to be great. So I did some tests on it and no matter what I played on it, it looks really good from just about any angle that you use as long as you don't get in the way of the light that produces the picture. Next, let's talk about gaming. So I'm going to pull up the Xbox so you can see some of the different capabilities of this projector and we'll do some tests so you can see how well it performs. So as you can see here, this projector supports up to 4K at 120 frames per second. And it has features like auto low latency, HDR, Dolby Vision Gaming, so you're going to get the best experience out of this projector if you're a gamer. It also has a built-in game bar and this will show you the status of HDR, auto low latency. You also have a dark details, you can control the brightness and it has a crosshair that you can use in first person shooting games. And you have more settings that allows you to get even better performance out of your gaming console. And this is important to know if you can plan on hooking up a computer or a gaming console. So as you can see, HDMI 1 will support up to 240 hertz. Your HDMI 2 will support up to 240 hertz using a computer. And the HDMI 3 will support the 4K up to 120 hertz. And this port also doubles as an eARC for your soundbar. Left. 
So as you can see for gaming, this is an amazing product. The fact that you can do 4K up to 120 hertz. Additional to that, if you have a PC with variable refresh rate, you can get up to 240 hertz. So you got so many different options when it comes to gaming. Now, I will say that this projector is very versatile, but how good is the audio if you're not planning on adding a sound system to it? This is a Tech Steve audio test for the next few moments. Sit quietly and experience the range of this TV's audio capabilities as we test the boundaries of sound. In my opinion, I think this projector has decent sound. I mean, it's going to be great for your dialogue. And if we pull up the TV sound effects, you can see that has DTS Virtual X. You have different sound modes, so you can put in theater, late night, or intelligent sound. And under advanced settings, we have features like acoustic tuning. And if you need to, you can also Bluetooth headphones, something like this. As you can see, it's right there on the list. I just hit pairing, go ahead and connect it, and there you have it. So as you can see, there's plenty of audio options inside this projector. Not only do you have pass-through for Adobe Optimus, but you also have Bluetooth capabilities, and you can hook up speakers and headphones, so there's limited possibilities to get the best sound quality out of it. Now, the last part of this video, we're gonna talk about the menu system because there's some features in here that you need to know when you're buying a projector so you can set it up properly and kind of understand how it works when it comes along to setting it up with a screen. Now, when it comes to the operating system, you can see it's pretty snappy and it is powered by Google OS. Now, we do have live channels, even though it doesn't have a TV tuner in here, you can stream different applications thanks to the built-in Google TV settings. There's an app store here. You have access to pretty much everything that's available for Google TV. And this includes features like a web browser. You can plug a thumb drive into it and watch your memories. It does have access to a built-in screen saver where you can add your own Google photos, built-in artwork, or even AI art. To me, one of the most important features of a projector is having the different settings so you can match it up with the different screens that you're using. Now there is a feature called auto keystone correction. And basically, if you have the projector directly in front of it, lined up perfectly, this could be a great thing to have. But I have mine low, so you will get a failure from time to time. But even with that being said, I still like the manual keystone correction. And this allows you to move these arrows around so you can fit your screen as precisely as possible. Now the great thing about this is once you set it, you don't have to really go in here and adjust it too much. But as you can see here, I can get an almost perfect picture to fit my screen just by hitting these little arrows up and down. And again, that's going to be your best performance. But some have said that you might get a little bit of a netting in the corners, but I haven't really noticed anything when I've done this on this particular projector. And check that out. After a few adjustments, it fits perfect. There's a lot of features inside of here, including auto eye protection. And this basically turns off the screen if somebody stands in front of it. That is great for children, animals, and things like that. So you have a lot of different features like that. The few last things I want to show you is that this projector is running off Android 12, the newest version at the time. And this is one of the largest storage I've ever seen on a product. We're talking about 110 gigabytes. That's a lot of storage for applications and things like that. You can cast over to it from your Android device and it does support Apple AirPlay and Apple HomeKit. So yes, you can connect it to your Apple Home system and use Siri to control it. And another feature you have on this projector is that you can control it with Alexa just by enable it and give access to your account. So as you can see, this projector is fully loaded with everything you need to get the best Hollywood at home experience. On this video, I went over everything I could think about that you might want to know about this Valerian Vision Master Plus 2. And I can only imagine how good the Mac series is because this one was very impressive. Now, getting a front projector, there's some things you want to consider, and that's how far you need to put it back. So in order to get this 100 inch screen, I literally had it about 14 feet back. So if you want to get 300 feet, you're going to need a very large room. Also mounting options, I put it on the tripod. They do make special ones that you can put projectors on or you can ceiling mount it and that's gonna give you your best results because that way it's out of the way and you can have it 
somewhere where no one can get to all the settings and things like that. And I do believe there's a lock on it as well. Once you set it, you can forget it. With that being said, I think it's a great projector. If you guys are interested or if you have a movie room, I think it's going to be worth checking out when it gets released. If you're interested in learning more, I'll leave all the links in the description below. I'm Tech Steve. Thanks all for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.